I'm making a video about 20 years of publishing my personal website, links.net. This is not that film. This is a behind the scenes glimpse. I don't yet know what the title is, so I'm just calling it 20 links for short, for now. I broke that up into eight chapters. That was a useful way to be able to pull together clips and materials and stories into each of these buckets for these eras. And I matched each of the eras to a particular theme, something that was challenging or transformative about my experience of publishing on the web. So once I had those eight chapters, I began filling them in and making eight separate little films. But eight's a lot. It was looking a little too long. And my friend Jamie Wilkinson, who sat in my interview chair before. It doesn't really matter like who you are, you can make a hit. Was the first person I showed a little bit to. And he advised me to ditch chronology and head instead for structure and storytelling more inspired by the linked nature of the website itself. So for example, I'm talking about my mom on my website. I then tell you about my mom instead of setting up myself as a person with a mother at the beginning. So now I'm making a single film. I just draw from those eight buckets of by year and I'm dropping them into one timeline now. I was very excited last week. I got an invitation in electronic mail from Andy Bio, who runs the XOXO conference with another Andy named McMillan. XOXO is a sort of creative media maker event in Portland. And I said that I would be honored to speak. He mentioned the, the story of game layers that I the text I posted and then the story of my divorce, a video I produced. I've shared a lot of intense things on my personal website, but I haven't really shared a lot about my divorce. He said those were the types of things that he thought could be good because they describe failure. I told him I would love to present, maybe I could even screen my film. So that's September 11 through 14, 2014 in Portland, Oregon, XOXO Fest. And I think I'm going to be showing my video there. And I'm also going to be talking about something that I have to write, which means I should watch some more XOXO videos. So I've got some good homework. I take this microphone here on my desk. So there's a microphone. Howard loaned me this microphone. And it's connected to this computer here. Oh my god, it's infinite refraction. So um, this is uh, where I do the filming at the end of this room. God, it's really kind of hard to steer this thing. Oh, I should take a video of myself taking this video so you can see what I'm using. So this is me videoing the videoer. I shoot at my desk using an old grow. webcam or sometimes my iPhone. Wow, this is really... Recursive, can I use that? I have been um, recording my voice in this microphone. And um, and then I lay that on the track. My, the green stuff is my voiceover, and then I drop in photographs above it. So here you can see, like, I'm working on some stuff from Hotwired. I have like a montage I found on the web of Hotwired. Now, that was one of my historical chapters, the Hotwired chapter, but I've now pulled together everything into this um, this kind of a this kind of a thing. So these are all clips. I'm trying to get the highest resolution copies of these clips I can get. I'm trying to come up with a cool way to surf through web pages. I'm trying to um, get as much of the story roughed out as possible with my voice so that I can then know whether it's too long. Like here it's 13 minutes long and I'm at like September 1994. It's fun to see myself making progress. The material is extremely, uh, can be very emotionally demanding. So if I make a, um, if I make a, a video segment that's about the failure of a relationship or the time that I upset someone or a death in the family or a, a career failure or just like some of the things I said, you know, I'm just a changed person. So. Um, that's exciting. I get to be changed, but spending a lot of time with prior versions of myself can be 
um, kind of disorienting and depressing, frankly, somehow. Um, some days it's uplifting and fun, and I cackle with glee and bound about and make videos, and some days I um, sit down on this, like, Shay's Lounge over here that I don't even know if you can really see the retreat spot. And when I go there, I play FTL on the iPad. It's kind of a perfect entertainment experience. Um, I just love this game very much. It's a great game. And uh, I go sit on that couch and play that when I need to like recenter myself or feel like I'm in control or uh, zone my brain out. Um, but now that I have a, a deadline of showing up at XOXO Fest, I'm going to Chicago in late July. My mom, bless her heart, has a big file of a lot of the press clippings that I appeared in over the years. And I'm very excited to raid those to see if there's any funny pictures or weird things I said. And so I need to record all my green screen of me standing up here. I use my I, I use the iPad as a teleprompter. This is like an example of a script, and I put it on a little stand in front of the lights and the set, and I'll just read one, I'll memorize, sort of live memorize one paragraph and say that, you know, two or three times into the camera until it's good, and then I'll move on to the next paragraph and record the whole video that way. Since the video is definitely gonna be over 15 minutes, that filming process may take quite a while, and it's also kind of intense, because I have to be on, and I have to remember to like not swipe my hair between my behind my ear so that in the next shot my hair doesn't line up and I have to keep my shirt button the same way and I'll probably be doing it over multiple days so I have to like be thorough about continuity and checking that I look enough the same. So I booked a haircut with the person who's cut my hair for the last, geez, 15 years, well. She's cut my hair a lot recently when I've looked more good. Her name's Judy Reingold. Thank you, Jim. Partners for hair. <laughs> and I'm getting it three weeks in advance. So now I'm scheduling my haircut for the shoot that I now know is going to be the week of July 14th. So it's exciting because if I keep this timeline, I should have something that, that actually resembles a pretty polished cut by the in a month. The, the version I'm working on now is all the, all the words. And then in a month, I'll have me in front of it. I'm also picking music. I'm having a great time. I'm listening to music by electronic musicians whom I love and trying out different songs by Levin Blechtum. And by The Gas Man. I am having a great time and I'm very grateful for the time to work on this video because someday I will be doing something different and it won't be you know, at this sort of desk standing here, um, you know, with, a, with a, like in my sweats, um, like, you know, talking into a TV. I mean, maybe this will do really well and be fun and people will like it and I'll have more work of this sort to do, but working in so deeply in my personal archives for weeks is really, um, Hi. The good news is a deadline is shaping it and the film is shaping itself and it is shaping me. And I'm grateful to have a dialogue with folks who are encouraging me over the internet to uh, pursue this kind of crafted navel-gazing. <laughs>